and I welcome you back to the Debrenic Channel. Welcome back this early, early Sunday morning, November 17th. How you doing today? Things are looking very interesting in California. I think we got our first big atmospheric river hitting the coastline and possibly hitting Lake Oroville. We got the Hawaiian Express possibly coming from Hawaii, getting ready to dump tons of precipitation over here to Lake Oroville. And you could see that over here by Eureka, 13.6. Crescent Valley 14.9 We come over by Mount Chester They're talking about 11.2 We come over to Chester They're talking about 10 inches Mount Chester itself 12 inches This is the GFS The extremely small model And then we come over to the European model And watch this stuff And they're talking big time Possibly 20 plus inches 20 inches Are you seeing that right? 20.82 inches possibly So the GFS is calling for 8 And the Europeans calling for 20 20.82 so this is going to be an extreme event either way 8 to 20 inches possibly coming to lake oroville wow we have a big time storm coming 14.35 in oroville itself paradise 16.73 caribou you're talking about 15.36 we go up to redding 10.86 we go to anderson possibly 10.65 red bluff 8.76 corning 9.32 orland 9.2 12 willow 9 9.04 grass valley possibly 12 inches new bullards barge right over here it could possibly get into the mix 16.05 mount shasta over here is 11.8 if this really comes to pass this is in the next week they're talking 14 inches possibly so we will see big old storm you can see a low pressure here that's causing all this moisture to potentially come and you can see that it just dumps and dumps and dumps it gets more and more 20.7 though that's an extreme event got 21 inches possibly holy crap 21 inches sterling city possibly getting in the mix 19 inches this is just insane big red 19.12 berry creek 18.09 now this is within the next eight days. Today's Sunday. Monday's one. Tuesday's two. Wednesday's three. Thursday's four. Friday's five. Saturday's six. Sunday's seven. Monday's eight. And this is only nine days out. So they have a good grasp on this. And you go back just a few days. And it's still 13 inches a week from today. You're talking possibly 13 possibly inches of water getting ready to dump here in there. So we will see what happens. This is going to be very interesting ladies and gentlemen. And this is not a rain event that's if you melt it all down 102 inches possibly coming up here chester over here you're talking about 60 inches and this is the european model but i want to give you some reference 19.12 inches of snow but you go to rain accumulation here and this is where they're talking about 21.6 inches so let's go back and look at the snow accumulation for like lake shasta and stuff you can see like mount shasta up here you're talking about 83 inches mount shasta you're talking about 71 inches Mount Shasta up here 76 inches we come over here by Trinity they're talking about 65 inches so this is an insane amount of snow as well 103 inches that's a lot of snow nothing that you're not used to in the Sierra mountain range you come over here by Truckee they're getting 37 you go just to the east possibly 65 now let's go to the GFS see what it's calling for it might be a little bit different 14.9 this is a little more not aggressive 27 inches over here at Chester however up here this is a different thing so we'll be watching this for sure to see what ultimately happens like over here at Happy Camp they're talking about 62 inches and then down here 68 inches and over by Trinity 55 so we'll see what happens ultimately this is not a snowmaker for the Colorado a little bit of snow but usually the Sierra rings out the moisture long before it ever gets across the way there so let's continue to scoot on here we will go out to Lake Folsom starting out now as we roll out to Lake Folsom as promised we are looking at the water level this morning November 17 2024 the water level is 395.90 feet and that was on Sunday November 17 2024 at 3 a.m. the level is 70.10 feet below full pool of 466 changes since yesterday the lake is currently dropping 0.23 feet over the last 24 hours over the last seven days the lake is down 2.92 feet over the last 14 
18 days, Lake Folsom is down 6.10 feet. Over the last 30 days, Lake Folsom is down 11.31 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 16.19 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 21.55 feet. Your inflows are currently negative 580, and I think that's getting ready to change. And your outflows are currently 1,696. We continue to scoot along to your bar graph next. As we roll out to Lake Folsom's water levels for the bar graphs here, full pool is always 466. In 2022, the water level there at Lake Folsom was 379.74 feet. In 2023, the water level was 417.45 feet. We're looking at 395.90 feet, and your dead pool level there is 300, and we continue to go out to percentage of capacity, and I hope you like my new bar graph, and I got a little bigger of a surprise. We go out to percentage of capacity next, something a little different than last time. As we roll out to Lake Folsom, you can see the percentage of capacity is currently 36.11, and I hope you like my new percentage of capacity bar and my bar graph. I continue to upgrade things and make them a little better. Sometimes that's why you don't see me for a minute. I'm always working on this stuff. So if you like that, please like, share, subscribe, tell your family, friends. Let's get the word out. This is very important. There's plenty of precipitation coming, especially for those who live in California. We're definitely going to be monitoring the situation. Let's continue to scoot on here. And next we go up to New Bullard's Bar. As we roll out to New Bullard's Bar, as promised, the current water level this morning is one. 1,862.67 feet, and that was on Sunday, November 17, 2024, at 3 a.m. The level is 92.33 feet, below full pool of 1,955. Changes since yesterday, the lake is staying even at zero. It hasn't gone down, it hasn't come up. Let's continue to go. Over the last seven days, Bullard's bar is down 2.27 feet, and we continue to scoot to the 14 days. It's down 5.16 feet. I got a feeling this is going to change especially for it's going to start going up for too much longer with the precipitation possibly coming and let's keep on scooting here bullard's bar is down 11.92 feet over the last 30 days it's down 12.23 feet over the last six months and it's down 27.03 feet over the last year inflows are currently 48 i got a feeling those will be going up and your outflows are currently 55 so letting out slightly more than what you're letting in for the last 24 hours so let's keep on scooting. As we roll out to new Bullard's bar, you can see that full pool is 1,955. In 2022, we are looking at 1,859.74 feet. Last year, we were looking at 1,889.70 feet. Today, we're currently looking at 1,862.67 feet. Here, Deadpool there at new Bullard's bar is 1,700. We continue to scoot out to percentage of capacity. Your current percentage of capacity there at the lake is 60.32 percent let's roll up to lake trinity next as we roll up to lake trinity you can see that the current water level is 2311.59 feet probably the highest lake and it's much higher than it was the last two years as seen here see that in november it was much lower and we continue to scoot along here so 2311.59 feet this morning at lake trinity that was sunday november 17 2024 at 3 a.m the level is 58.41 feet below full pool of 2,370. Changes since yesterday. Changes since yesterday. The lake is just like the other one. Staying even there at Lake Trinity. We, over the last seven days, Lake Trinity is down 0 0.07 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0 0.87 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 4.35 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 37.35 feet. And over the last year, the lake is up 34.28 feet your inflows are currently four your outflows are currently zero so that's what we got going on at trinity currently and we continue to scoot along to your three-year bar graph next top of the glory hole there at trinity is 2370.10 feet in 2022 we are looking at 
five feet. 2023, we're looking at 2,277.31 feet. Today, we are looking at 2,311.59 feet. And Deadpool is 2,100 as usual. Let's go out to percentage of capacity next. Percentage of capacity there at Lake Trinity, you are looking currently at 65.51%. And let's scoot on over to Lake Shasta next. As we roll over to Lake Shasta, you can see that we're a long way from full pool. We are currently at 985.74 feet. And that was on Sunday, November 17, 2024 at 3 a.m. The level is 81.26 feet below full pool of 1067. So that's crazy. And we will continue to scoot on here. Over the last 24 hours, the lake is down 0.03 feet. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.70 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 2.63 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 7.19 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 26.75 feet. And over the last year, we're looking at 26.66 feet. Inflows are currently 1,767. Your outflows are currently 4,895. I wonder if they're getting ready for the big storm. Makes you wonder. They're releasing almost 3,000. And the lake is only dropping 0.03 feet. This is going to change by next week at this time, so we'll be watching this very close this week. As we roll out to Lake Shasta, you can see that the full pool is 1,067. In 2022, we are looking at 917.94 feet. 2023, we are looking at 1,112.40 feet. 2024, we're looking at 985.74 feet. Your dead pool is 737.75 feet. Let's go out to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to Lake Shasta, you can see percentage of capacity is currently 55.57% and let's roll up to Lake Warville. As promised earlier, we will be going there now. Lake Warville is in pretty good shape. You can see that you got a lot of play. Even if you get that big amount of rain, you're looking at 755 feet. It's much higher than it was in 2022 whenever we got that big rain right here where it really started going way up. That happened That happened probably around December, so we're, we're earlier than this year and then and like last year we had a big bump right around December as well so we'll see what happens ultimately this is going to be interesting folks this could be a doozy current water level at Lake Oroville is 755.56 feet and that was on Sunday November 17 2024 at 3 a.m. the level is 144.44 feet below full pool of 900 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0.27 feet over the last 24 hours over the last seven days the lake is down 2.95 feet over the last 14 days the lake is down 6.37 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 13.13 feet over the last six months the lake is down 62.58 feet and over the last year the lake is down 58.34 feet your inflows are currently 1021 and your outflows are currently 4,437. We continue to scoot along to the bar graph next. Full pool level is 900 there at Lake Oroville. 2022, we are looking at 664.21 feet. Last year, we were looking at 813.90 feet. Today, we're looking at 755.56 feet. So you can see the difference here in Deadpool there at Lake Oroville. It's 640 feet. We continue to scoot along here to percentage of capacity. Our final stop tonight, percentage of capacity there at Lake Oroville is 48.15%. And thank you guys for stopping by. We'll be back more frequent this week with this big storm possibly coming. We'll be checking water levels and stuff, so be watching for that. You guys have a blessed day, and we will see you on the next one. God bless.